Hello friends and welcome to my stable diffusion in painting tutorial. So we're going to do a fun in painting where I'm going to transform a picture of me and my friend into a scene from the Marvel movies. Um, in order to do that, you need to have the new stable diffusion 1.5 in painting checkpoint. I'll give you the link for that uh, in painting checkpoint file and uh, you can follow iTrepreneur's excellent video on how to install that checkpoint and how to use that. Uh, using the super special diffusion environment that I have here. So in order for this to work, you're going to have to have uh, uh, automatic uh, quadruple one, which is what, which is this uh, automatic one, 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 one's excellent um, stable diffusion web UI uh, running in your computer. Again, you can find out how to use that using entrepreneur's video, which is I think a great source of content for uh, all uh, stable diffusion, uh, you know, creators. So anyways, I'm not going to go into the details of that. I'm sure all of you already know that. I'm just going to take you through the work process for a fun creation that I actually already did. And I'm just going to do it all over again just to show how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this image and transform myself into Iron Man. And I'm going to transform my friend into Captain America. Okay. Now, in order to use this, it's a very high resolution image, which uh, uh, Stable Diffusion cannot process. You need to convert this uh, into 512 by something whichever ratio works uh, using uh, photoshop so you just go to photoshop and image and image resize and uh, make the longer side 512 uh, pixel make sure the resolution is 72 um, and the longer size is 512 pixel so you get this and you um, actually you know what let's take it one notch higher because i know that my machine can handle images higher than 512 because I have 8 GB of video RAM but if you have 4 GB of video RAM uh, then the largest size of your the longest side of your image needs to be 512 pixel but because my uh, video card has more VRAM and also because I think uh, this web UI master actually can support higher resolution so I guess you can go for uh, the width being 512 so that will give you a little bit larger image to work with. Okay, uh, now I'm in stable diffusion. In order to work with this, you need the new stable diffusion 1.5 in painting checkpoints. Uh, if you follow entrepreneur's tutorial, you know exactly where to uh, place those files or place that file and you just need to load them from here. So I've loaded the in painting checkpoint and now you need to go to image to image and under image to image, you'll find that there's in painting here. So select that and drag your image uh, to here. And then uh, we're going to do one person at a time. So first I'm going to, con uh, I'm going to transfer me into, um, let's say Iron Man, and then I'm going to upscale that. And then I'm going to, you know, downscale that again, and then convert my friend into uh, another Marvel character. So let's convert myself into Iron Man. I'm just going to keep the face intact because I want people to know that it's me. So I'm just going to in paint over here. So I'm just going to carefully in paint. So this is a little difficult because I'm using my mouse, but if you have um, a tablet or a pen, maybe uh, your position will be much better. At this point, I think you can be rough. You can go a little rough, no problem. I think uh, uh, the in painting algorithm will actually take care of any rough spots because there is a kind of a mask blur um, setting here, which I think takes care of any nitty gritties or small spaces you might have left or might have over painted. So basically that's me. Uh, so I want to draw um, inside the ink painted mask. So I keep my options like this. And over here, I need to specify that I want to work with the full width or the image size. So if I, uh, let's increase the height and fill up this with uh, red which means that this is the area that which means that stable diffusion is going to work over this entire image if you make it smaller then it's going to sort of crop inside and then work i don't want that i want to work with the entire image i want to convert the entire entire image so okay i need to increase the scale a bit uh, and i need to increase the denoising a bit now i have already done that once so i kind of know what kind of settings to use and these are the settings that work uh, the best for me and now let's try a prompt I'm, i'll try a simple prompt something like uh, marvel iron man 
uh, red battle suit. Let's see if this gives me a good result. Let's generate. So I have this setting on which kind of shows me the intermediary steps as stable diffusion is building that model. Now, here's something interesting. See, in my image, there were no gaps, uh, you know, between the hands right here. It was kind of because I was wearing a jacket, it's completely dark. But see how stable diffusion actually covers up, uh, not covers up, but actually, you know, follows the design and the drawing and leaves those space for, uh, you know, like leaves this space empty or blank and fills it up with whatever is in the background. Good for us that the background is nothing but some kind of gray sky. So yeah, I think it did a very good job, but I think I would go for it one more time and I would go for a larger sampling step. I'd go for yeah 60 and try again. I mean, I, I already like this image. I think it's very good, but I think a higher, um, uh, you know, like a higher sampling steps might or will probably give me a better uh, output, hopefully. So we're seeing that I'm already getting great results, but you know, I'm, I'm not happy with the hand. Uh, maybe I'll go for another turn or you know what, guess what? I think I'm going to just see if I can uh, use the previous image. You know what? I think I'm going to re-roll the dice again, just to be sure, because I still like the previous one. Okay. So, um, okay, let's try this again. So this time, maybe make battle suit separate. Two different words maybe battle suit is not one word and generate again i tried a few generations and i didn't really, I, I didn't really like any one of them uh and then i experimented with the various uh, sampling methods and i think finally perhaps gdim method is probably the best um although i'm getting some artifacts here um i'm not so sure why so i'm just going to interrupt that and see what happens if i in paint at full resolution Okay, I think in painting at full resolution really did the magic. I'm really happy with the way that the image turned up, but I might have to take it to Photoshop and, you know, uh, do some work with this, but that's fine because that's not a lot of work. Um, let's see what happens when the work is completed. Okay, yeah, so I really like this, but I think I'm going to have to maybe um, upscale it or yeah, I, I'll just upscale it and then save it. So send to extras and and make it four times as large and generate. Okay, so yeah, this this looks more or less okay. I, I really like this. And there are a few artifacts that I have to correct, but it's sort of what I wanted. So let's just save this image. And now I'm going to take this image in Photoshop, change the image size to again 512 and now convert him so file save as back to stable diffusion and uh, and i'll just draw over him And now it will be Marvel Captain America Sweep because it doesn't have any battle suit. Um, all the other settings are just fine, I think. And generate. Interesting. It's actually doing a very good job already. It's almost done. And I think I like the way it's done in the first time. Perfect. So I'm just going to um, upscale this. Okay, guys. So um, my upscaling is done. So what I found out was that uh, BSR GAN is the best uh, as both the upscalers. And if you increase this GFP GAN visibility to one, then the details of your image are actually uh, preserved as opposed to the previous attempts. I'll show you. Uh, in my previous attempts, uh, my uh, GFP GAN visibility was kind of zero, so I didn't really get very good details. Looks very cartoonish, but here I think the details are much better, and the face is also uh, much better. Still, still, I think that you'd have to Photoshop this 
So I'm just going to take this image and place it on top of my original image because what I want to do is I want to fix the faces so that the faces look like the original picture. Uh, mask over it. So just simple masking so that the face looks good. So just, just to mask the faces so that the original faces come out and then um, just a few blemishes that I think I'll correct and uh, if you want you can do corrections over here but you have to remember that this doesn't exactly line up with the original image for example there's uh, for example over here you see so part of my pant is kind of still there see if you like to draw over it or mask over it then what will happen is I'll show you um, it will just show what was under it okay guys so I think our image looks great it's uh, good enough to be um, in social media I think so I'm just gonna post in social media uh, let me know how your tries go I think the in painting is vastly improved I think it's probably better than Dali now I'll try something without painting and let and we'll see how that works out and if I can do something fun with this and if I think that it really is good maybe I'll post a tutorial about it so see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.